Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners, welcome to our today's biology lesson. Today we are discussing biology form one and the topic is introduction to biology. My name is Stephen Kariungi. Now, uh, in our previous uh, lesson, we introduced the branches of biology. So today, we are going to look at how is biology important in our day-to-day -day life. So basically, we look at the importance of biology. Now, one of the importances of biology is that biology is a career subject, is a subject that is applicable in many different careers, such as medicine, such as environmental conservation, public health, veterinary medicine, and so many others. So basically, all those careers, they need or they require biological knowledge for you to be able to excel. So biology is a career subject that prepares learners for the study of medicine public health veterinary medicine etc so that is basically one of the importances of biology as a subject. Number two is that biology helps to solve environmental problems. Biology helps to solve environmental problems such as pollution, food shortage, ETC. Number three, biology also helps us to understand the development of, a hu of the human body. Number four, also biology equips the learner with scientific skills such as observation, analysis, evaluation, and so on and so forth. So it equips the learner with scientific skills. E.g. observation, evaluation, analysis, etc. This is through the undertaking of various biological experiments and practicals. Biology is also important in international cooperation. It's important in international cooperation in dealing with 
in dealing with challenges such as HIV AIDS global warming ETC and that is something that brings various nations together when they are dealing with challenges that affect many countries or that affect the entire globe so basically those are some of the importances of biology or why the study of biology is important the other character the other thing that uh, we are going to learn is the characteristics of living organisms for us to understand biology better it is important that we know which characteristics are common in all living organisms and i want us to use an acronym and this acronym is mrs gren in order to understand the characteristics of living organisms we can use the acronym uh, Mrs. Gren, uh, written downwards, and each of those letters has a meaning. For example, the first letter M represents movement. Then, respiration. sensitivity growth and development they go together there is reproduction excretion and nutrition So those characteristics, they are found in all living organisms. Living organisms move either from one point to another or move part of their body. They respire, they show respiration, they show sensitivity, uh, maybe sensitivity to temperature when it is too cold or too hot. They show growth and development with time. They reproduce, that means they produce some young ones. They excrete, they produce waste products. And they acquire nutrients, that is what we call nutrition. So we are going to look at what each one of those characteristics means and why it is important. So we'll start with the first one. And this is movement. And we say that this is the displacement of part of or entire body. So organisms are able to displace part of or their entire body and that's what we call movement we have also respiration and this is the breaking down of food to obtain energy
we have sensitivity and this is the ability to detect and respond to changes in the surroundings. We need to be aware of our surroundings. Number four, we have growth and development. And we can define the two separately. Growth is the irreversible. Is the irreversible increase in size and mass. Organisms are able to grow by increasing their size and also mass. And then we have development, which is the change in complexity of the organism. How a, an organism becomes more and more complex with the time. Number five. We have reproduction. And reproduction is the ability to produce offspring of their own kind. Ability to produce offspring or young ones of their own kind. We have excretion. The ability to remove metabolic wastes metabolic wastes from the cells and then finally nutrition which is the ability to acquire and utilize nutrients in the body. So basically, we have seen uh, the seven characteristics of living organisms, and we have also uh, studied the importance of biology. We have studied that biology is a career subject and we have seen careers where it is applicable. Biology is important in solving of environmental problems. It gives scientific skills to the learner such as observation, classification, analysis and so on. Biology is important during international cooperation between nations while dealing with the challenges such as HIV, AIDS, global warming, and so on and so forth. Then finally, we have looked at characteristics of living organisms, which we have summarized as follows. The acronym is Mrs. Gren, M for movement, respiration, sensitivity, growth and development, reproduction, excretion, and nutrition. Then we have defined each one of those terms. Movement is the displacement 
of part of or the entire body. So movement does not have always to move the entire body, but also can be part of the body. Respiration, ability to break down food to obtain energy, sensitivity, ability to detect and respond to the changes in the surroundings, growth and development. Growth is the irreversible increase in size and mass while development is the change in complexity of the organism. Reproduction, ability to produce young ones or offspring of their own kind. Excretion, the ability to remove metabolic wastes and specifically metabolic wastes from the cells. And then finally, nutrition, the ability to acquire and utilize nutrients in the body. So basically that is uh, what we have covered today. So we'll have a short assignment covering what we have learned. So the first question, give four importance of biology. Number two, Define the following terms. The first one, A is sensitivity, B, movement, and C, growth. So we'll stop there until next time. See you then.